welcome to another video again another video that's slightly different and then we're going to look at some invasive species in uk and just briefly discussing sort of impact they're having on ecological systems so we'll start off with chinese mitten crab these are imported species there's varying stories really so some people say they've been brought to country purposely for a food source. There's other sort of recommendations that they've travelled on the underneath of boats in the form of eggs or even obviously as full grown species and they've colonated uh, rivers and UK coastline. Now they're a big problem, uh, very similar to crayfish in terms of the undermined riverbanks and things like that. What they do, they move into fresh water. Uh, river Trent, for example, which isn't too far from me. That's a tidal river. But what they have to do is return to sea, to spawn. They're quite commonplace now throughout UK. How do you get rid of them? I don't think you will. With any invasive species, once they sort of colonise... Once again, it's at waterways, forestry, whatever it may be. And there's no real effective way of removing them. The only thing I could think is, if they have to go back to the sea to spawn, you know, you could block that route in some way, or you could intercept them at that stage, and maybe that would help. I guess, plus side, yeah, it is a food source. And with any invasive species, they need controlling. And with any... Invasive species, a byproduct of that is food. So let's get them controlled and let's get them in pan. Now, there's six species of deer in the UK. I'm not going to profess to be an expert, but you've got seeker deer, fallow deer, roe deer, red deer, muntjac, Chinese water deer. A few of these species are invasive so they've been introduced at UK Chinese water deer for example seeker deer in this video I'm just showcasing muntjac it's uh, the smallest species of deer in UK commonplace throughout all UK as well muntjac deer were introduced from China I believe into Bedfordshire and obviously spread from south or southern areas into more northern areas. It is classed as an invasive species. And obviously it does damage to shrubbery, bushes, woodland uh, scenes. Has a negative impact on flora and fauna. So it does need controlling. Again, byproduct. Look at that for a lovely pan of meat. If you get opportunity, control them. Keep their numbers at a sustainable level and enjoy your free food. Then we have the Xander, looking at a river species. Again, this was introduced and it's an invasive species. It's one of freshwater ways, sort of apex predators. They're not as commonplace as what they used to be, uh, but if you do fish for them or target them, there's some real specimens still to be had throughout UK in river systems and particularly canals. As with a lot of invasive species, Xander's been commonplace in UK waters for a long time now. And I think it's accepted and recognised that, you know, this species isn't going anywhere anytime soon. And reality is, you know, what damage do these do? They're just another fish. In a already established system or waterway yep they'll eat some fish but it's not like they breed out of control and like i said you know the numbers aren't as big as what they once were so they're not doing any real damage yeah but for sporting angular they're a great fish to target and a nice trophy fish if you can grab one of them specimens ones at the same time And a wild boar, it's not an invasive species. Is there any truth behind it that 
the both that are sort of predominantly distributed throughout UK currently are our old native one. Potentially not. Obviously, wild boar were farmed, which means they could have originated from a different country throughout Europe. They were reintroduced for farming. Obviously, there's been a lot of escapees. They're a brute or an animal. Uh, they do have sort of plus points and they can be good for the environment. You know, they're known for rutting, so digging up fields and things like that uh, in search of acorns, whatever it may be, any sort of food source. Yep, they're going to cause damage to, like, farmland. But when they're in the wild environment, in a UK woodland, and they're rutting, that is good. You know, it's good for insects, good for biodiversity and things like that. On a personal note, because it were always a UK native species, I'm glad these are back around. You know, they should be there. And there's, there's good argument for other species alongside these, like lynx, wolf, bear, to be returned to UK landscape. Apex predators like wolves and bears, you know, undoubtedly they're going to come into contact with humans and that's going to create conflict. So I don't think that'll ever happen. But wild boar, lynx, yeah, they should be in the UK. They'll help uh, biodiversity and lynx will help to control deer population, which is out of control. And regular shooting methods didn't really knock it numbers down to the required level. Now look at another fish species. I think it's quite common knowledge that when UK, you know, salmon numbers are decreasing. And that's for varying reasons, really. Overfishing, poaching, uh, access to waterways from sea back into sort of onto land, into them natural waterways has been sort of obstructed over years. Overfishing at sea. But what is on increase is the pink salmon, which isn't a native species to the UK, but it's finding its way into UK waterways. Now, some people might think, well, salmon are returning. You know, it's a salmon, ultimately, but these are causing a lot of damage to UK sort of population of salmon or native salmon. So these do need catching, they do need controlling. And again, what a food source, really. Pink salmon, we all pay a lot of good money for that in supermarkets. So if you have opportunity, fill your boats, really, I guess. Get some of these caught and get them cooked up and make some delicious meals and protect us UK uh, population of salmon as best we can. That's something you've seen me target on my channel on a quite regular basis and I only do it a couple of times a year but I get enough during them sessions to sort of provide me with some free meals and that's American Signal Red Crayfish. They're over competing uh, native white claw crayfish and for me, it's going to be a matter of time before there's no English crayfish left. You know, they give them crayfish plague. And they just overcompete for food and resources. There's quite a few different species of crayfish in the UK now. They're all in competition with each other. Get them in pan, that's what I'd say. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you in the next one.